we practice in an area of law that changes so rapidly. Um, we put on this as a service to clients to let everyone know what the key points are that are really hot topics right now so that um, in the field, um, general counsel, HR reps, benefits people can make sure they're compliant. There's a perspective as far as employment law about what's happening in Washington, D.C. and there's not a lot of legislation that's moving through the process, but there are lots of things going on. I think at the very least we want people to be reassured that there are a number of folks that are watching these issues regularly and whether it's within our firm, whether it's within the states, within other outsiders that are looking at this issue to try to, try to help employers evaluate and address issues strategically. I'm Terry Kilroy and I am the chair of the Labor and Employment Practice Group at the firm. I'm Anthony Romano, I'm the vice chair of the Labor and Employment Group here at the firm. We feel that it's a chance to reach out to clients, to present to them updates in the key areas of labor and employment law and benefits, and then solicit from them what specific questions they might have. This enables us to reach out and touch them and really speak about the generalities of topics that are, that are topical for today. Now, Sandy Prager is the uh, Commissioner of Insurance for the state of Kansas. And really, right now, there's nobody more critical to health insurance than the commissioners of, of insurance at the various state levels. We regulate all the insurance that's sold in Kansas, and the Missouri Director of Insurance regulates all the insurance sold in Missouri. Insurance is traditionally a state-regulated product, and the companies that sell their products have to be licensed and abide by the rules in each of our states. It's a, it's a pleasure that to have people here and it's a pleasure to have the audience we have, the speakers we have, to have Sandy Prager, who's right in the middle of, of, of her significant level of importance nationally, and to have Martin Frost and Kenny Holshoff with us as well to give us the current up to the minute uh, impact of what's going on on the Hill. I think that's, that's powerful. Finally, after many months, in fact, for the first time since, I think, 2003, uh, the NLRB now has a full complement of five members, but that was a very heavy political lift, and, and there still is a Supreme Court case that's going to be argued as to whether some of the president's recess appointments were constitutional or not, and so those that actually practice uh, employment law are left with uncertainty as to these many decisions uh, that the NLRB has made in the interim. There are questions, there are a number of things the President has done in recent years because of the deadlock in Congress. He's tried to do using the executive authority of the President, issuing executive orders, and the, and the Republicans now have gotten to the point they're saying, you've overstepped your bounds, you've gone too far, we're going to take you to court. And so we'll see what happens. And this could directly infect um, employee, employer issues, specifically what uh, employers are required to do under Obama care, what individuals are required to do, and some other issues too. The Supreme Court case changed the federal law, but there's still a lot of inconsistent state law out there that can impact what employers do. Well, we help clients walk away with, you know, three or four or five or six really key points that they can take back to their companies um, in their HR and benefits departments and say, this is an action item, these are things, policies we need to look at to change, or just a sense of confidence that they are doing what they're supposed to do to make sure that their um, employee benefits HR function is working in compliance with the law. We want to be their lawyer for now and into the future, and anything we can do extra really to the, to the office setting like this is something that we value and we hope they value as well.